Hello crypto boys and ghouls and welcome back to the channel Tales from the Cryptmancer where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain such as Splinterlands and in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about the modern and wild uh, league changes that are coming up very shortly. Uh, it's been announced by Splinterlands that on July 14th we're finally going to get Modern versus Wild here for the two uh, league formats. And I wanted to do a quick video talking about the replacement killers or the replacement cards, as you might say. Uh, those that if you use certain wild cards today uh, in the future, if you want to compete in the Modern format, well, those aren't going to be available to you. So what are the replacement cards that you're going to need to have essentially leveled up to roughly the same level if you want to basically fill those roles or um, replace those cards in the future? So let's get into it. Let's talk about the cards that I think are probably most relevant uh, for those switching from the wild into the modern league and what the replacement killers are going to be. Now, the cards that we're going to be talking about today, all the pictures are based on basically the levels that I have them in my decks. You know, you may have them at different levels or you may not have them at all. But let's take a look at some of the uh, most common that we might want to look at. So for fire, we have a number of cards to consider in the transition from the wild to the modern format. And for low mana snipe, here we have the fire beetle that is commonly used on a Yoden team today, probably coupled with the Lava Spider. But moving forward, uh, you're really gonna only have the Lava Spider in the modern format. So if you use the Fire Beetle today, uh, definitely make sure you get your Lava Spider up to that same level uh, so you don't miss that card in the role that it plays if you're gonna be playing in modern only. Now from a Little League healing tank perspective, Cerberus is an excellent card here at four mana, and Zenith Monk is basically the equivalent uh, in the neutral uh, splinter for Cerberus in the modern format. Uh, again, it's not an apples to apples comparison, and some might even say the Zenith Monk might be better. Uh, in addition, we have the Exploding Dwarf, which plays a role kind of a melee only or melee mayhem equal opportunity, super sneak kind of monster, especially valuable in Equalizer to provide DPS. And that unit is basically replaced one-to-one -one with the exploding rats in the modern format. Now for water, we have a number of considerations to look at. From a tank healer slash protector card, we have the Crustacean King, which is replaced by the Murdali Guardian in the modern format. And from a taunting tank perspective in water, you have the Kraken being replaced by the Wave Brood. Now, whereas the Wave Brood is not maybe as offensive as the Kraken from a DPS perspective, it definitely still fills the uh, taunting tank role very well for the water team. Now, for low mana sneak, you have the Saber Shark being replaced by the Pelicor Bandits. And for a low mana armored tank, uh, you have the Spineback Turtle being replaced with the Cruel Cethropod. For Earth, you have low mana opportunity in the role in the Screeching Vulture being replaced by the Venari Scout. And if you use the Cockatrice today as a evasive low mana tank or a sneak protect card, you now have the Vampire Bat uh, on the Earth Splinter that replaces that role. Now, for low mana healing in the Modern League, you're basically going to use the Princess versus the Wood Nymph in that role. And for a self-healing tank, uh, you would replace the Flesh Golem more than likely with the Pelicor Mercenary in the Modern format. Now, for low mana Magic DPS, uh, you would replace Magi of the Forest 
with Jen Bilska. And for a shielded tank option on the Earth team, the Stone Golem is replaced by the Mycelic Infantry. For our friends on the Life team, you have melee DPS uh, here. This would be something to consider when using uh, weak magic or lost magic or even melee mayhem, super sneak, or equal opportunity. The goblin mech on the neutral side being replaced by Jared Scar in the modern format. From a tank healer perspective, you have the divine healer being replaced with the Venari Crystal Smith. And for low mana sneak, even though it's a bit slower, you have the Stitch Leech replacing the Feral Spirit. Uh, and the Stitch Leech obviously plays a different role there with Life Leech versus the Feral Spirit with the speed. But still, low mana sneak, uh, that is an option there if you use Lorna, for example. Now, for high DPS sneak, you have the Silver Shield Assassin being essentially replaced with the Dampier Infiltrator uh, at a little bit less mana cost and a little bit less DPS without the poison. For death, we have Equalizer and Sneak Protection being replaced here, the Enchanted Defender being replaced by the Ever Hungry Skull, and the Self-Healing Tank here role being the Haunted Spirit in death in the modern, or excuse me, in the wild format being replaced by the Zenith Monk in the modern format. Now for archery DPS, high archery DPS for death, you have the Octopider being replaced by the Dampier Stalker. And for neutral, you have a low mana sneak here, the Elven Cutthroat being replaced by Uraeus. And low mana archery, the Highland Archer being replaced by the Zenith Archer. And last, but certainly not least, for your Noxious Fumes self-healer for those uh, important Noxious Fume battles, you have the Gelatinous Cube being replaced by Bakjira on the water team. Now again, these aren't all one-to-one -one mappings. These are probably the closest roll replicators or replacement cards that you would want to use. Um, for these specific roles. In some cases, the modern version does the job better than the previous wild version. And in some cases, the wild version does the job better than the modern version. But in any case, you have certainly options to consider. Leveling up now, if you haven't done so already, for competition in the modern league format or modern league tournaments. So hopefully this quick video was helpful to identify any potential gaps in your deck that you might want to shore up, uh, possibly before the rush comes in of last minute stragglers. And again, it's always helpful to have information uh, ahead of time so you can avoid some of the prices in the market fluctuating in the wrong direction unfavorably for you. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more timely content around Splinterlands, and until next time, keep stacking those stats. And that's entertainment.